Hi, hello guys. Welcome to episode number 83 of Minos to Kings in San Marino with SS Cosmos, where we are kicking off our Champions League campaign today with an away trip to Stamford Bridge, uh, which is... Uh, doesn't get any uh, any any harder than that, does it really? Except maybe Barcelona, of course. We made a couple of signs. Uh, well, one signing since you were last with us, uh, and one out as well. Helder Saar has gone to Sassuolo on loan. Uh, they are paying for the loan as well. They are paying us most of his wages, a playing fee as well, and there is also a mandatory future fee of two hundred and fifty thousand uh, pound. So Helder Saar is going to be leaving us uh, permanently at the end of the season. We should make. A little bit of the money back on him. Uh, he was a good player for us, you know, Helder Saar, but he is starting to get on a little bit. He's 28 years old. Um, he will start declining soon. And now that the reputation of the club has increased, uh, there is the potential to bring some better players in. We brought in a player on loan from Paris Saint-Germain. It's one who I was looking to sign, but PSG beat me to the signature. And that is Stefan Dokic, a Serbian left, left wing back. Uh, he's got some absolutely mental physicals and his mentals are pretty good as well. Uh, technically, he could do with a little bit of work on his crossing maybe, uh, but he is a, a very, very good left wing back. Unfortunately, he he didn't agree to join us until after the uh, registration for the Champions League, so I haven't been able to get him in the Champions League squad. I put the bid in well before, uh, well before the registration, but uh, he didn't sign in time. So we are a little bit short at left back, uh, for the for the group stage, I do have a plan to play a Bono there because he can play as a left back. He is left footed as well, um, but unfortunately for this game, he's going to have to play centre back because Gustavo Cipriano is currently suffering from an injury, uh, which is not not the greatest. Uh, he is currently out with concussion, expected to be out for six to eight days, so he should be back for the next game. Uh, you may notice a new formation. I briefly touched on it at the end of last season. Uh, this is something that Work the Space uses with his Fjolnir save on Twitch in Iceland. I uh, decided to give it a go. Um, it basically, it's very, very simple. It also, you know, lets teams sort of come onto as we compact the middle of the pitch. Uh, so I decided to give it a go. It's a bit of an underdog tactic, really. Um, so the starting lineup for today. Because uh, Mante is also injured. He is out for two to six days. So the new starting right back is also injured. Charlie Moon is suspended. Uh, so we're going to go with Vidal as the right wing back. You can see he's not the best players. He's got some good physicals again. Uh, but he is going to have to start there today. Bono is going to get his first game of the season uh, after his injury at centre back alongside Abbasicio. Two very, very good centre halves for us. Uh, and then left back is going to be have to be Andres Abogueno, one who I signed at the end of last season, 20-year-old Uruguayan, uh, looking f more to the future, potential profit. Uh, he's got a val potential value of 650k, which is what we paid for him. Uh, but as we keep increasing the leagues, by the time his contract expires, he could be worth a lot more than that. But he's going to have to play today because I couldn't get Dockage registered. Um, Regista, we are going with the Regista this season. Uh, and it's going to be Gasso Traore. If we just have a look at his attributes for Regista, his first touch is amazing. Passing is amazing. He's got really, really good vision. A couple of his other mentals let him down. and He's got no balance and his dribbling's a little bit poor. Uh, but we do have options there. Alfonso was brought in to be a Regista. Uh, he, he is, he's got some good attributes for that position as well. So we do have options. Uh, but Alfonso is going to play as the ball winning midfielder today instead of uh, Alfie Moon. Uh, Alfie, is it Alfie Moon? Where do, where am I getting Alfie Moon from? I don't know. Um, but as a ball winning midfielder, he's he's fairly decent, you know. Is it Alfie Moon? Charlie Moon. Where where on earth am I getting Alfie Moon from? Not a clue. Uh, Prout is going to be the advanced playmaker again. He's very good at that position. Uh, and then as a centre mid on attack is going to be Teo Ailton. He's going to fill that. At uh, centre mid for us. One thing I have just noticed is he loves big matches. He lacks a little bit of consistency though. These are obviously updating uh, as he spends longer with us. Uh, and then up front it's going to be Martinez as the pressing forward. Uh, very, very good as a pressing forward. Not his favoured position, uh, but he does have some really good attributes for that. His bravery could do with being a little bit better. 
Uh, and then it's the main man up front. It's Avia as the advance forward. Absolutely immense player for his other than his consistency, uh, which does let him down a little bit. Uh, but he has recently learned a new trait as well. Likes to beat the opponent repeatedly. Uh, I'm not sure why I taught him that. Uh, but that's that's going to be the game for today. Chelsea are the favourites, of course, um, at Stamford Bridge, but not as much as you'd think. They're only five to one. Uh, so we do we do have a chance if we could come away with a point. It would be absolutely awesome. Uh, it's doubtful though, although we have drawn against Chelsea before. Uh, we're just going to tell the boys, go out there and make us proud. Uh, which is about all we can hope for, really, at Stamford Bridge. Lineup for Chelsea: uh, Rhys James, Fafana, Mason Mount, Conor Gallagher. Uh, so they they've got uh, some good players on the pitch. And of course, here's our lineup. Uh, it looks like we've only got one real player left in our starting lineup, which is Traore. Yep. Uh, we'll skip all that. I decided not to change the uh, the kit for this season. I'll do it next season. I'll do it like bi yearly, uh, I, I guess. Uh, but interested to see how this formation stacks up. Like I said, it is a little bit of an underdog tactic. Jack's used it very well with Fjolnir in Iceland. Uh, so we'll just give it a go. Uh, Fafana wins that header. Now it's Fratesi. Back to Fafana. Uh, Sokola. Fafana again finds Conor Gallagher. Looks over the top towards Haaland. Haaland's playing. Oh my word. Uh, to sail Sailor Makers. The Dutchman. Rhys James. Conor Gallagher. Finds Reese James again. Back to Salmikers. Can he get the ball into the box? He goes to Reese James instead. We're defending quite well here. We're not letting them through. Uh, Reese James now does have a bit of space. It's well cut out by Tay Alton though, and Prout looks to get Martinez away. Martinez advancing, but it's a comfortable tackle for Fafana. Uh, Reese James picks up the ball. Now Latoro, Salmarker, James again, looking to, across the pitch. Fratesi grabs it. Now it's Harlan to Lataro. Fratesi again. And Chelsea have taken the lead in the 15th minute. It was a fantastic little bit of build-up play. We kept them out well to start with. Uh, but it was, Martinez lost the ball too easily uh, to Fafana. Uh, and it is a really, really good Chelsea goal. Great cross-field ball. We could potentially could have cut it out, but we got caught a little bit short there. I believe that's going to be Vidal. It is Vidal. Um, he tried to anticipate that and he's, he's missed it and he's left himself exposed. D disappointing. Uh, but, you know, Stamford Bridge was never going to be easy. Uh, Jovan Sokola has picked up a yellow card there. Can we capitalise on the set piece? It's taken by Traore. He looks for Bono, and Bono levels the game for us. Or does he? Or does he? We're going to have a VR decision. Bono's got his arm in the air like he has scored. Oh, there's nobody offside there. Surely that's a goal for Jean-Claude. I believe it's been given. We haven't actually got the VAR decision, but it has been given. Uh, that's um, did it go to VAR? Or am I just imagining that? I don't know. I don't know where I'm at today. Uh, Thierry, anyway, looking for Haaland, and we've fouled Haaland uh, almost immediately. Almost immediately, we've got ourselves back into the game, and then we've given Chelsea a way back into it straight away. Straight away. There's no doubt it was a penalty. Uh, the, the shirt pulled by Vidal, apparently. Uh, so that's twice that Vidal's made a mistake that leads to goals. Now, Latoro to take the penalty. He's missed it. Wow. What a shocking penalty. But Enzo Vidal is having a nightmare so far. A couple of mistakes. Uh, Thierry gets the ball into the box. It's towards Salmakers, who's hit the crossbar. Vidal clears it. Only as far as Conor Gallagher, though, to Fratesi. Fratesi looking to make some space. He finds Conor Gallagher instead. Now it's Lataro to Salamakers. Let's not foul him. Gets the ball across towards Lataro. It's a great save by Avenatti in goal, the Uruguayan. Uh, it's gone for a corner to Chelsea. Taken by Mason Mount. That's uh, good header clear by Basicio, but Mason, uh, Conor Gallagher picks up the ball. Finds Salamakers to Mason Mount. A little bit of space. Pulls it back to Salamakers. Now Lataro, Conor Gallagher ball into the box as well head clear by Alfonso who has picked up a little bit of a knock there uh, and we do get the ball away let's just have a quick look at Alfonso's knock what's up with you mate a potential thigh injury uh, as the ball win midfielder Revolta are you any good as a ball win midfielder not too bad we've also got Romero 
Romero. No, you're not a ball win midfielder, are you, mate? Um, let's get Revolta on for Alfonso. Uh, don't want to aggravate the injury. Uh, but Chelsea keep coming, and now Vidal's being sent off. Vidal's had a, an absolute shocker. He has had an absolute shocker. I don't have another right back on the bench. I do not have another right back. Luca Brizzi is not playing as a right back. I don't even have another centre half other than Luca Brizzi. Wow. What do I do at right back now? Do I got do I go with Brizzy? Do I have to go with Brizzy? I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Ah, uh, but it's Europe again. We've we've had a, another silly red card in Europe. Not great. Not great. Did I do that Alfonso substitution? I'm sure I did. It just hasn't happened yet. Uh, I, I'm sure I told Alfonso to come off for Revolta, didn't I? Right, half time, one all. Uh, we're down to ten men, but if we can hold on to something here, uh, Avia's just got rid of that. There's nobody else up there though now that Martinez has been taken off, uh, so we can get a right back on. Hopefully, Luca Brizzi can have a good game for us. He's on a six point nine already, which is encouraging. We are defending quite well, uh, but Chelsea. I've always got that threat going forward. It's Fafana. Uh, it finds Socolo. If we can uh, pressure Socolo, maybe get him sent off as well. That would be great. Uh, Conor Gallagher for Fafana, though. Finds Reese James. He's got room to move into. Uh, Traore goes across, but Salmakers instead switches the play to Thierry. Thierry now advancing to Mason Mount. And now Latoro finds Haaland, and Haaland's not going to miss that, is he? Erling Haaland is not going to miss a, ch a chance like that. Uh, it's a, it's a, he's just blasted it past Avenatti in goal. Uh, had absolutely no chance with it. Do you know what is encouraging though? I am going to take from this game. Yeah, we're getting beat. But Chelsea have put their big boys out against us. Chelsea have put their big boys out against us. Which is a sign of improvement from Cosmos. Uh, it makes it harder, yes. But the fact that they've got the big boys playing... Uh, is is encouraging um, we just need to sort of keep the score down now really uh, we have forced them all the way back to Jovanovic in goal uh, he finds Fafana we just don't have any pressure on the ball uh, now really in the in the front line Latura Martinez now finds Socolo to Fratesi Mason Mount looking for Martinez again but Haaland's it's a poor clearance by Basicio and Haaland with another strike uh, there is, there's a reason why he's won Ballon d'Or's uh, in this game, in this save file, uh, but it was a shocking clearance from Basicio. Uh, quite disappointed in that. It's hard enough against Chelsea as it is. It was a good ball by Mount, but Basicio's cut it out. But it's got it's fallen straight to to Erling Haaland's feet, and he's just too good to uh, to give him free chances like that. Reese James is an excellent free kick taker, but that one's gone harmlessly over the bar for us. Right, 65 on the clock. We're going to look to make our final change. We're going to bring Teo Ailton off. He's not had the best of games. We're going to get Romero on uh, as the centre mid on attack. Uh, get some fresh legs on. A poor performer is, is off. V has not played the greatest either, but then he's not really had any service. Uh, we've had a total of five shots. We've had 24% possession. 24% possession. <laughs> Which is awful. Uh, Mount with a deep free kick towards Parrot and Fafana is headed in for four for Chelsea. Losing that man early on, fairly early on, has uh, has really derailed us. It was looking good at one all. It was looking good at one all, uh, and we've we've sort of just gone off the boil a little bit. Uh, Roma have come from behind to be ahead at Benfica. Um. Can we go and create another one? Just keep this, like keep the score down, really, uh, and not concede a fifth. That would be nice. Uh, Rodrigo is that Chelsea? Rod, uh, sorry, Man City. Rodrigo or Rodri, as he's as he's known. 
Is that how good this squad is at Chelsea's? They're passing the ball around uh, really, really well. Uh, Sola over the top towards Parrot. He has tried to chip Avenati, but it's gone horribly wrong for him. Um, is, yeah, it is Rodri. Man City Rodri, 35-year-old now. Left Man City, went to Juventus, and then Chelsea picked him up on the cheap. Some good players in that Chelsea squad. Some very, very good players in that Chelsea squad. And we have lost... Um, we've lost... 4-1 which is uh which is really really disappointing Vidal getting sent off didn't help us didn't help us uh and that's uh that's a poor start to to the group stage this season looks like Benfica managed to get a goal back in that game uh what what was the score it finished 3-2 to Roma 3-2 to Roma Evan Ilsen and Everton are still kicking about with Benfica Benfica is the winnable one, though. If we can pick up a good result against Benfica, maybe something against Roma, uh, that would be be helpful. Uh, Alfonso's injured five to six days. We can take that. Uh, Vidal sent off. Not not great. Um, second half of the episode, though, is going to be at home to Benfica. I've got three league games to play in between. Uh, and we'll come back in the second half and we'll see if we can beat Benfica. Right then guys, welcome back to the Benfica game. Uh, just having a look at our under-20s here, it's just popped up in my news item. Uh, you can see the under-20s actually beat the Benfica under-19s, which was uh, a great performance. Uh, a couple of our signings, though, 18-year-old Turk uh, didn't have the best of games. Um, Arnaldo is, or sorry, Arnaldo is doing uh, particularly well in the reserves. He's got three goals and three assists in six appearances. Uh, but the young Samarizo players are doing... Or this is a young Italian who came through our youth academy at the end of last season. He's doing okay. Uh, we've got a couple of the Samarizo players doing okay as well. They've beaten Benfica reserves uh, to, to find themselves currently sat second in the group. Uh, we do have Benfica today though. Obviously we've had the games since you were with us. Um, a 5-0, 11-0 and a 6-0 in the league. I didn't mean to click on that. Uh, but Avia... He scored four in that one. He scored five in this one. So he's, he's picked himself up nine goals in two games there. Uh, it's nine in three because he didn't actually score in the first game. Uh, but as you expect, uh, that does leave us in, you know, a, a very, very comfortable position in the league as per usual. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I got the odds for this game, uh, to be honest. I don't. If I did, I didn't see them. Uh, but this is the lineup that we're going to go with for today. Maybe that's the lineup that we're going to go with for today. Uh, we're going to go with Avenetti or Avenatti in goal, who is improving, which is great. His determination is going up. Still unambitious, though, uh, but we should be able to work that out. Our squad personality is determined. Uh, we've also got him in a mentoring group with, you know, some uh, a model citizen, I believe, we've got in there. Uh, we have got a player in online who is a model citizen. I believe it's Dokic. We do. Um, so we're going to go Mante as the right back. It's going to be his first game on camera for us. Uh, the Ghanaian, 25-year-old, has picked up four caps since he joined us. Uh, resolute personality. He's got some good pros. As I said uh, in the transfer run-through, his marking lets him down a little bit. Um, but he's, he's okay going forward. Cipriano is going to play as the right-handed centre-back. Like Swig matches, is consistent. A little bit injury prone and he's he's lacking a little bit in his physicals. Uh, but should be okay for today. Persicio is going to take the left side. Uh, again, improving underneath us, which is good. But again, does like that consistency. Bono is going to have to fill in at left back for us today. Uh, he's not the best in that position, but hopefully his defensive attributes uh, can come through. In fact, if we put him onto a wing back on defend, it might be slightly better. Uh, Alfonso is going to play as the Regista for us today. Uh, we're then going to go with Moon, Charlie Moon, not Alfie Moon, uh, as the ball winner midfielder. He's back for today's game. Prout stays as the advanced playmaker. Uh, he had a very, very good game in San Marino. I think he picked up three goals in one game. Uh, but he is another fantastic player uh, who we've managed to pick up. And then we're going to go Romero as the centre mid on attack today. He is declining slightly. But I think that's partly because he is unhappy, obviously, with his free transfer. But he is consistent, does enjoy big matches again. Personality is not the greatest, uh, balanced, but he's got some some good attributes. 
He's also left-footed, so he can play on that side. And it's the familiar to up front, Martinez, consistent performer. Uh, he started off okay. He hasn't actually played in the league for us today because of the league rules. Uh, and then Avia, who, as I've already said, is uh, he started off very well domestically for us. This is concerning, though, the lack of consistency. Hopefully, we can get one of his uh, better games out of him today against Benfica because this is the winnable game in this group. Martinez obviously lacking match fitness because he doesn't really play in San Marino for us. Like I said, due to the league rules, uh, we play uh, Selva there and we also bring Ottaviani in in the midfield. Yeah, this this is the uh, this is the game that we could potentially win uh, at home to Benfica, and I'm hoping that we do because last season was was poor in terms of Europe for us. We need a better one this season. We've got Evan Nielsen in there still. Zinchenko's in there now. Um, as it stands in the group, we're both currently sat with no points. Obviously, we both lost our first games, but hoping to pick up the result here. And we do have an early corner to be taken by Martinez. It's headed away by Arujo, though. It's only as far as Prout. Now it's Moon. Martinez finds Moon again. It's Alfonso. Mante, good spell of possession here for Cosmos. What can the new right wing back do? He skips past his man. Gets the ball into the box towards Martinez. But again, Thomas Arujo wins the head. And Alfonso to Prout. He's got Bono out on the left-hand side. Good ball into Avia. And Avia needs to score. Great ball in by Bono with his uh, with his five crossing or something. Uh, Avia really, really needs to get that on target. Now anyway, Bono to Romero and Alfonso. Prout finds Martinez. Uh, Avia again. Through ball towards Martinez. Can Martinez finish? It's another. It's a fantastic block there by the defender. Thomas Arujo's had a fantastic start to this game. Uh, but Cosmos is still piling the pressure on here with Romero. Now Alfonso. He's got Bono out on the left-hand side again. Advancing towards the penalty here. Finds Martinez now Avia and Avia does score this time. John Avia with his 19th goal of the season. Uh, and we have done what we needed to. We've capitalised on this early pressure that we've got on Benfica here. Uh, we've taken the game to them from the off. Uh, and we absolutely had to capitalise on that. We just need to sort of uh, keep it now really. Uh, not with giving away free kicks on the edge of the area though. We're not going to do it like that are we? Uh, it's going to be... Evunusek to take the free kick, but it's a poor one, and Avenatti just watches it fly harmlessly past his post. You may notice uh, in the match stats there that possession is not really our thing. Um, it's not really our thing with this formation, but it doesn't matter. It's what you do with the possession. Uh, and can we do something with possession this time around? Bono plays a nice one-two with Romero. Can he get the ball into the box? He finds Romero again. It's in towards Martinez, pulls it back for Prout. The ball's looped up off the defender. And John Avia is the first one to react. And he puts us 2-0 up against Benfica with less than 20 minutes on the clock. A little bit scrappy uh, in the box there. But there's a great 1-2 down this left-hand side between these two. Bono pulls it back to Romero. Looks for Martinez. Prout's shot is blocked. But Avia wins the header. Beats Bakari in the air. The goalkeeper's in no man's land. Uh, and this is absolutely fantastic start to us, for us in this uh, this tie. You can see their possession. Benfica have had a lot more of the ball, but they're not doing anything with it, whereas we are, which is great. Chelsea and Roma are still nil-nil in the other tie as well, unless they're a late kickoff. No, Chelsea have just taken the lead. Uh, so we uh, could potentially be fighting out for second space, place with Roma, obviously depending on how the games go with Roma. But Avia has turned up today, which I'm pleased to see. His consistency isn't letting him down uh, so far today, and it's been a great performance so far in this in the first half. Right wing back's not playing the best, but left wing back Bono's doing really, really well. Uh, it's now Romero to Bono down the left-hand side. Cuts back, finds Alfonso. Great through ball towards Romero. Can we make it three? It's Avia for his hat-trick. He's hit the post, but gets the rebound. And John Avia with a European Champions League group stage hat-trick at home to Benfica. And it's it's turning into a rout against Benfica. Latura Martinez has put Chelsea 2-0 up there away in Rome. Uh, it's great play down this left-hand side again. Uh, Avia should really have scored the first one, but he got lucky with the rebound. Uh, and he's bagged himself a Champions League hat-trick uh, to make it 3-0 to Cosmos. Let's try and keep a clean sheet. Uh, Bakari down the left-hand side for Benfica. Vukotic. Uh, even 
with an Usic with the effort there and it's good saving goal by John Avenatti. Benfica now starting to come back into this game, putting a little bit of pressure on. It's Everton with the corner. Uh, it's Thomas Arujo wins the header again, but it's hit the crossbar and we've just hacked it clear. Uh, but the highlight straight from the throw-in is Everton, Vukatic, Bakari. Great through ball towards Everton. He's pulled it back across. Uh, but Gustavo Cipriani has turned it into his own net, trying to block the cross. Uh, that's unfortunate. It was uh, the, the pullback was to nobody. There was nobody there, really. Uh, but we've been beaten by this pass here, Bukhari. And then Everton pulled it back. There was nobody there. Cipriano wasn't to know that, though. And he's turned it past Avenatti into his own net, unfortunately. Uh, we briefly, oh, we are in second in the group now. Uh, which is great. Let's look to make some substitutions, change things around a little bit. Uh, Alfonso's not had the best. Let's get Triori on. Cipriano, oh, he's just conceded that on goal, hasn't he? Uh, but he is a little bit tired. I don't have any centre-backs on the pitch, on the bench. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll move Bono to centre-back and we'll get uh, Bugueno on at left-back. Change things around just a little bit. Uh, hopefully we can go and get ourselves a fourth goal. That would be great. Uh, Triori, the new man on the pitch, has lost the ball straight away though to Kuna. Everton is a surely he's a mile offside there. I I don't know what happened in that highlight. How was Everton all by himself in in the middle of the box there? But Avenato rescued us a little bit. He's uh, he's made a great save uh, with the goal kick towards Avia. He nods it on, but it's straight through to Brigido. Martinez couldn't quite get there. He rolls it out to Verissimo. Back to... Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> what happened there? We're going to get the we're gonna get the goal line technology for that. What on earth happened there? Uh, also, Avia. He has played fantastic for his grabbing a hat-trick, but he is absolutely shattered. Uh, so, Nicolo, our son, get on the pitch. See if he can bag us a goal. We do have a corner by the looks of it. It's going to be taken... By nobody, because because uh, I've made the substitution when the highlight was happening. And it cancels it. <laughs> uh, approaching the final couple of minutes, though, it is still 3-1 uh, to Cosmos. It looks like Roma have pulled a goal back against Chelsea, uh, which leaves them at second place in the group. But that's a, that's a fantastic result. John Avia bagging the hat-trick. Um, we've scored all four goals in that game. We, we've, we've batted Benfica, basically, which is exactly what we needed to do. Uh, and I'm really, really pleased with that. That's uh, that's a really good performance. Uh, Chelsea Roma finished. Uh, where are they? Oh, there. Uh, two one. Jogo Jota pulled one back for Roma, which uh, leaves them ahead of us on goal difference at the minute. Uh, but it's great to get off the mark so early on in the group stage. Uh, we we wait to the last game last season, but that's two point four million in the bank, which is which is awesome. Javier is absolutely worshipped by the fans. He, I believe, is he in the icons yet? Legends, we're in there. Cooper Mazza's is in there as a legend. Icons, Kevin Martins. No, Avia's not. Oh, he's he's made it into the favoured personnel. Uh, has Avia? Uh, that's that's an awesome win, though. I'm pleased with that. Gets us back up to 24 million. We've uh, we've exhausted the transfer budget now. I have made another signing. It was Gustavo, a 19-year-old, another Brazilian, unfortunately, £925,000. He is a 19-year-old centre-half, cost us £950,000, but he's got some really good physicals, some OK mentals. He's, he's not too bad of a defender either. Injury-prone and not consistent, but he is resolute. Uh, it's potential at 19-year-old. Again, he's got potential to, to grow, and it's potentially a bit of profit for us. We've got a couple of others signing as well. Uh, Cabrera is a left back, 17 year old. Uh, this is more thinking towards the uh, homegrown status. Uh, Kotoglu is a central midfielder, 18 year old, joins us in January. Again, this was thinking about homegrown status, but I think by the time he joins us, he might be slightly too old. But again, he's got some, he's got perfectionist. From what I can see, he's got some good attributes. There were, I could see all of his attributes. Uh, but I don't know if just for the reason that for some reason the way attribute masking works, it's uh, it's removed his attributes. We've also got uh, Franzossi Franzoso joining. 
in a couple of years' time, I believe when he turns 18, not long after he turns 18, Italian uh, attacker midfielder or a centre midfielder. Again, resolute personality. Got some good attributes again. Room to improve. Uh, and again, it's a potential a profitable stock, basically, for, for us. Uh, some players we need to start looking at as stocks. Um, anyway, that's that's the end of today's episode. It's been a, it's a fantastic result against Benfica. Next episode, we do have the Roma double header, though, and this could be what makes or breaks our European campaign. Is these two games against Roma? Uh, the, we're at home first, which is which is good. Uh, we've seen how well we can play at home. Uh, that's going to be next time, guys. As always, though, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been Dean. Any feedback, let me know. And please hit that like button for me. And I'll catch you all next time.